I upgraded my hobby machines to a professional grade machine. I've decided to go with the Nova 80 watt RF. It's a 35 inch wide machine. It is an RF tube versus a CO tube. I absolutely love the machine. I've had it for a week. I am creating a MTG Magic the Gathering box that I'm gonna be listing in my shop. I did this calibration file here. I have this file linked down below. And then I did another calibration file. So the unboxing and the uncrating went extremely smooth. They were communicative with me about getting the machine. Why I chose Thunder was I'm not going to invest this amount of money in a machine and have something break and not being able to talk with anyone. As soon as I had an issue, and it was with light burn, there was no technical issues with the machine whatsoever. It came on a crate and I didn't even need to align it. It just worked. It just creates beautiful work, cuts all the way through the surface, and it's just phenomenal. The quality is incredible. Stainless steel hinges, nice hydraulic metal enclosure. It just feels like I really changed my whole plan. The fact that I wanted to really get going with a retirement laser business, this is a huge game changer for me. The reason why that I upgraded to a bigger machine was a little bit of the cutting area, maybe the speed, but a couple huge shockers were, I had no idea how loud my hobby machines were. The Glowforge fan was very, very high pitch. And with all the hearing issues I have and tendinous, I don't need anything else. Also, the fume extraction. I don't even smell anything with this Thunder Laser. I don't, it's extremely quiet. It came with a beautiful ductwork system that I just, I do exhaust outside, but I didn't know all of this. I kind of said, oh, bigger surface area, more power, and the ability to actually engrave faster and adjust the air very specifically. It has a low setting and a high setting that I can fine tune, adjust everything. When I opened that door, the hinge of the, the lid, it just felt amazing. I love great products like Prusa and Apple, and this really just joins it. And the fact is I can call anyone in Texas and I can talk to someone or I can email support and get a response back. I can, and I can upgrade to the rotary. I just really believe that this is a big surprise. I feel unbelievably blessed but I think I'm not sure if I would be able to kind of run this laser business, engraving business that I want to run without upgrading it. And, you know, I'm keeping my Glowforges. I think they're great for acrylic jewelry and there's a lot of things, but I am just blown away with how quiet it is. So with this particular acrylic, I was able to get this beautiful engraving and test file that I made and everything works out. The way that I focus it is I, inside of Lightburn, under the move tool, there's just an autofocus. And if you, the material's underneath of it, it will just go down and press it very similar to my Prusa printing head. It will go into the material and it will test it and it just really does it with precision. And in terms of sending the file, the interface on the machine, once I hit send inside of Lightburn, I can, can control where it goes, choose whether, where what quadrant I want my home to be in or where my starting coordinates are going to be, set the origin, I load the file and I'm ready to go. So as far as the speed of the USB, everything else like that is really, really nice. I, ride it, I drive it from this computer and it's over on this side of the hack lab. But so far it's been an absolute joy to work with. The, uh, it does have a, the ability to pass something through. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use that or not. I just like the surface area. I like the light, I like everything about it. And I'm really, really excited that to have this RF tube, which is the plus part of it. And then the next video I will do, I will talk to you about the camera that came um, already installed inside of it. And then maybe, maybe I'll get for Christmas, maybe I'll get the rotary. So unbelievably happy with this machine. I really believe that this is a game changer for me. And I do believe if you really focus in 
on your skills in Lightburn and you find the right products that you enjoy making, like I'm really enjoying making these Magic the Gathering boxes for this magic game i really enjoy assembling and painting and stuff like that if you find your thing and you want to get, just get going with laser you can just buy a used laser cutter but you could really think about doing something like i did and making this investment if you really want to get a thunder go ahead and comment below and let's have a discussion about it so you make the right decision. I'll link this video of the box that I made. It has little gears that move and it unlocks and drops out the cards when you pull a little tab. Make something that connects someone. Peace out. Bye.